Hi, this is Peter. I'm from C Studio. I'm the application engineer. And I would like to update another project with you guys. It's the environmental sensing uh, project, where you can see we use a group all-in-one environmental sensor, a shell ESP32S3, and together with the shell expansion board. So in this setup, we connect the shell ESP32S3 with the ESP home. So, so we could get the sensor data onto the home assistant dashboard here. As you can see, we have the PM values, the humidity, temperature, and TVOC values. So we put this setup here because we have a little printing farm. And when the 3D printer start to printing, it will, the environmental conditions will get harsh here. If we detect there's a, a high TVOC or PM values here, we could utilize the automation setups on the home assistant platform and to trigger the air condition or the air wind and to make this uh, little environment like get better conditions for working. We also uh, deploy some of the sensor cap sensors uh, in our office to detect the office environment, such as here, and you can see there. Okay, in this particular case, uh, we had a, a S2103, uh, which detects uh, CO2 data, uh, air temperature, and humidity. And in this case, the, the lower one sensor sends the data through this lower one gateway, and then the gateway sends the data into the home assistant green gateway with MQTE. And in this case, we can see the sensor data is here on the dashboard of the home assistant. And also, uh, we set up a, another trigger here where when the CO2 level gets over like 1,000 ppm, uh, we use this little setup uh, to send the bus signals uh, to alert people around the window uh, to let them know that, oh, it's time to open the window and uh, get some fresh air into this office environment. As you know, the CO2 condition is really, really, really uh, it's an important uh, uh, aspect of like people are getting better working conditions. So with this setup, uh, we had a buzzer, a touch sensor, a short ESP32, and an expression board. So we, we wrote an Arduino firmware uh, onto this short ESP32 S3 uh, to get uh, MQD data from, from the automation we set up here. Uh, where when the when the uh, CO two data gets over one thousand ppm, we send a, a signal to this shell to let the buzzer start to buzzing and to alert people around here. And once they notice, they open the window. You can touch the sensor to set off the alarm. And, and we also have a a little uh, a button here that people could set on off the uh, the buzzer. Here. On the on here as well.